say bad words on the stream. So, okay, now vegetable soup today. Yes, just all vegetables. We have garbanzo beans. We have carrots. Hmm. It's getting uh, smoky looking. Broccoli, carrots, kidney beans, small white beans, garbanzo beans, Italian green beans, and red peppers. Okay, your nutritional information here. Total fat, zero. Saturated fat, zero. Trans fat, zero. Cholesterol, zero. Sodium, 20 milligrams or 1%. Carbohydrates, 10 grams, 4%. Dietary fiber, 4 grams, 14%. You got a lot of fiber in this. Sugars, 2 grams. This is healthy stuff. This is good for you. Throw away your TV dinners. Get rid of your TV dinners. Get rid of all this unhealthy food. And we got a few extra vegetables here. I'm going to see if these are any good. Okay, these are... Um, okay, let's see if these are any count. These are pretty good still. We got some mixed vegetables here. Hey, that's real, real good. Yeah, Bill Sims, good to see you in the house today. We got carrots, corns, peas, and corn. This is good stuff for you. It'll stick to your uh, stick to your ribs. Okay, it'll stick to your ribs. It's good for you. Your nutritional information: 45 calories. We have no fat, no saturated fat, no trans fat. Sodium: 30 milligrams. Carbohydrates: 9 grams. This is extremely good for you. You can eat this all day long. Now, a little bit of meat for it. I'm going to see if we've got any hamburger. Okay, we've got a little hamburger. Okay, and I'm going to compare it to this TV dinner. To this pot pie. Now, I love the taste of these pot pies. I love them. Okay. Okay, the nutritional information of this pot pie. Calories is 350. Total fat, 18 grams or 22%. Saturated fat, 6 grams or 30%. So we got 30% or 6 grams. 30% saturated fat in this pot pie here versus no saturated fat. Cholesterol. Cholesterol 50 milligrams or 17% versus none. Sodium in this uh, vegetables is 30 milligrams or 1% versus this is 930 milligrams. Look. 930 milligrams. I love this stuff. I love a frozen food, but 930 milligrams or 40%. Carbohydrates, you get a lot of carbohydrates, but you don't have as much fiber. You know, dietary fiber is 10%, and this is 7 This has got more fiber and everything. This is not good for you. It's good every now and then if that's all there is, but... Okay... We're going to see what else we've got in here in this room. We've got a closet now turned into a cupboard, okay? Now, we'll see how much the canned stuff is not as bad as frozen, okay? Okay, we got a hundred in the can. is 190 uh, calories just for a serving, not a whole can. Okay. Saturated fat, we've got 10% versus and 25% of saturated fat. It's got quite a bit of saturated fat. Not as bad as the TV dinner. Let's bring out the TV dinner again and let's look at the TV dinner. The TV dinner is actually pretty good compared to some other things. Okay. I like TV dinners. The saturated fat is 30%. Okay. Saturated fat is, it's, it won't focus. This piece of junk won't focus. That's what you get when you get uh, straight talk wireless sometimes. You get crappy service. Hey, I'm Elbow Travels Watch. That's what you get. If you just eat a serving, which is a half a can, a half a can is not as bad. It's 10% saturated fat. Or two grams, 10% saturated fat. If you eat the whole can, like I like to do, eat the whole can, you got 25%. Or five grams of saturated fat. No trans fat, but saturated fat. Okay, and in here, just for one pot pie, you get 30 or six grams. You got more 
saturated fat in this frozen pot pie than you do in this whole can of soup. More than you do in the whole can of soup. Cholesterol, 3% versus 10 milligrams versus, and 15 milligrams. So, for one serving, it's 10 milligrams or 3% cholesterol versus this pot pie. Uh, cholesterol is 50 milligrams or 17%. 50 milligrams or 17%, and this is uh, 3%. 3 versus 17. Even eating the whole can is only 5%. Cholesterol, this is 17. You get way more cholesterol than this. Okay. Sodium, just for, it has a lot, now this has more sodium. And I'm going to tell you, a lot of canned food, it's good for you, but it has a lot of sodium, so if you're looking for your heart, this soup is good, but you should get some low sodium soup. They have the healthy choice in the low sodium soups. You know, that's a good thing to get the low sodium soups. Because for, I would just eat one serving. I wouldn't eat the whole can because it's got way too much, it's got way too much stuff in it, bad stuff in it. It's got way too much bad stuff to eat a whole can. You've got to just eat a half a can. Sodium, 790 milligrams, 34%. 1,720 milligrams of sodium. 1,720 milligrams uh, versus this. This is 930 milligrams of sodium, okay? Uh, just the sodium and then carbohydrates, 22 grams or 8%. Carbohydrates, you see, 22 grams, 8%. 35 grams, 13 percent. So it's got a little more. Okay, this is 48 grams total carbohydrates for a whole can. Eating the whole can, 48 grams, 70 percent, 17 percent, or it's 12 percent. It's not as bad as eating the whole can. So eating this pot pie is about like not quite as bad as eating the whole can. It's about like eating three fourths of the can. Fiber, you get fibers 11 percent and 21. You get more fiber in this, um, more fiber in the soup, okay? So just protein, you get a lot of protein. So basically, processed foods, whether some canned foods and even more, um, and you can get dried beans. Let's look up the dried beans. Now, let's look up the ramen, okay? Okay, ramen noodle soup. One pack, a half a package or a whole package. Serving size, one package. Okay, now, this, you can't read it, I'll read it to you. The ramen soup is top ramen beef soup. Okay, to, uh, the fat is 10% and it's 32. Saturated fat is 7 grams to 33% saturated fat. Saturated fat is 30, so... This is about like a pot pie when it comes to saturated fat, and it's because of the noodles. No cholesterol, that's a good thing. Sodium, 1,330 1, milligrams of sodium. 1,333 milligrams of sodium. Versus, this is this has more than a pot pie, so. So I'd say the carbohydrates, it's got some carbohydrates, but... All this stuff is just loaded with sodium, you know? And that's why I don't like a lot of this kind of food. It's just loaded with sodium. You know? Just dried beans and produce and stuff. we got to find a better way to eat, people. we got to find a better way to eat. Hey, Leah Sampson, how are you? I'm going to quit talking and I'm going to get to work. You want to see me make some soup? So, um... Trying to find some more stuff in here to compare it to. Ha ah, ah. ha! Woo! Yes! Let's get something else out to look at. Let's look at this before I put the soup together. Okay. Now this is a Totino's Party Pizza. I'm going to put hamburger in it. This is the mountain hillbilly way to do it. Also, yeah, we need to find a way to get away from sodium. Hey Skunk Ape, how are you Skunk Ape? Elbow Travels Watch, Leah Sampson. Liz, yeah, all right. Okay. Now, this is a Totino's pizza. Two servings. If you eat a half a pizza, 
Okay, total fat, 16 grams or 20% saturated fat, 4.5 grams or 21%. Trans fat, cholesterol, sodium for half a pizza is 580. That's not quite as bad. Carbohydrates, so basically, five. You, now for the whole pizza, if you eat it, 1170 milligrams. 1170 milligrams. That's a lot of sodium. All this stuff has just a lot of sodium. It's good sometimes, but I'm telling you, if I have to eat something with that much sodium, I don't think I'm going to be eating too much food. Okay. And I'm going to set you all down just a minute. I just wanted you to see these things. It's kind of enlightening. Okay. To be able to make some of this soup for us and have some freshy soupy freshy soup okay now I've got a little green pepper and an onion for us <coughs> I've been coughing this morning I hope I don't have the COVID okay now, we have to find some better ways to eat, okay? Better ways to eat on the Redneck Rancho. And I've got some hamburger here, and I'm going to smell it. Good Molly. Yeah. Mm. Hey, on the Redneck Rancho. Woo! Coming for me on the Redneck Rancho. I want the meat to be fresh now. I want it to be fresh ham, boy. Fresh hamburger on the redneck rancho. Yeah! Yeah, fun for me on the redneck rancho. Yeah! Fun for me on the redneck rancho. Run for me on the redneck rancho. <laughs> uh, um, shout out to all the good people. All the good channels out there. That I'm watching. Well, also, I have a heart trouble that runs in my family. Uh, the only way to avoid high sodium is to only eat fresh fruits and vegetables. No packaged food, processed food, or fast food. Salt is not bad unless you have high blood pressure. Well, I have a little bit of high blood pressure, and I have heart trouble that runs in my family. So, I want to be proactive. That's why I quit smoking cigarettes. I did smoke cigarettes, but not anymore. Yeah, I did smoke cigarettes, but I quit smoking cigarettes. But <coughs> I did have cigarettes, and I smoked. You see, my dad died when he was 53, and he took psychiatric medicine. My dad took psychiatric medicine. So, people with mental problems and emotional problems come to my channel. I don't feel uncomfortable around people with schizophrenia, mental problems. Yeah, it was hard. Very hard thing to do. I smoked my first cigarette when I was 13 years old. I lived in a trailer park. I grew up in a trailer park and I smoked my first cigarette when I was 13 years old. There was a lady, an older woman in the trailer park. She would give out cigarettes to the kids. She would have a, a, a carton of cigarettes. The kids would come visit her and say hi to her. And she said, you got any cigarettes, Bertha? And she would say, sure, they're in the closet there. Get you a pack of them, you know. That's how things are. And that's the way things were growing up in the trailer park, you know. Old ladies give cigarettes to little boys and little girls. Those older women will give cigarettes to you. Those older women will give you cigarettes if you're... 14, 13. There's old ladies who'll give you cigarettes. Hey, Tuna Helper, hello, Tasha Tilling, how are you? My dad is 86, eats salt every day. Yeah, it's just a person's health, you know. But my dad took psychiatric medicine. My dad had paranoid schizophrenia. My dad had paranoid schizophrenia. And so he took psychiatric medicine for years, and he smoked uh, three packs of cigarettes a day. 
So with his psychiatric medicine and his three set packs of cigarettes a day, he died 53 years old. So I want to be like my father, you know, and die of heart trouble like my dad. I'm already starting to get some high cholesterol. I've got high cholesterol. I've had it for years. But I'm, you know, other people that you know, want to do what they want to do, I'm not judging them, you know. I'm not putting them down. I'm just seeing for me, myself, you know, my own. They don't call it that anymore for some reason. Yeah, I know they changed the terms. And another thing they've changed the name of is, is manic depressive. I grew up with some people in the family that were manic depressive. But they don't call it manic depressive. They call it bipolar and stuff. So they changed the name. It's not manic depression anymore. They don't call it manic depressive anymore. They say bipolar one or bipolar mania or something like that. They just changed the terms, I guess. But my dad had mental problems. My step-grandmother, she had kind of a bipolar, which was manic depression back then. And they called it manic depressive. But, um, yeah, that's all the way it is. But my dad smoked a lot of cigarettes. But there's nothing wrong with smoking cigarettes. I tell you, I love my cigarettes myself. And the tobacco farmers in Kentucky, there's tobacco farmers that grow tobacco, so... It's their livelihood and stuff. My grandmother was 91. She smoked cigarettes for years, and she's still alive, you know. But it's just your genetics as to whether you have a high tolerance for that or not. Some people's bodies have a high tolerance for stuff. Their bodies are built like a Mercedes Benz, you know. Their bodies are built like a Mercedes Benz. They can take anything. Hello, Mama. How are you, sweet pea? Good to see you. One or two now. Yeah. Well, good to see you, Tasha. Good to see you, uh, Mama, especially you, Mama. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it, everyone. But, you know, it's your body's built like a Mercedes Benz. It can take cigarettes or anything, alcohol. It does not bother by it. Your body can take anything. It can go right up to 300,000 miles and never, never, ever bad an eyelid. You know, it can never have any problems. Your heart can never uh, stop at all. You can go right up to 400,000 miles, you know. But some people's health is not like the Mercedes. It's like a Ford, you know? A cheap Ford. And it's going to break down every two days. And you're going to have to take it to the garage. Get it fixed. When it tears up every two months. You know, we got to take extra good care of our hearts. Because we have a family of people who died of heart trouble. My granddad, my dad's dad. My dad's dad was an alcoholic. He died when he was 38 years old. So that's what happened to my granddad that was 38 years old. He died of a heart attack when he was 38 years old because he was an alcoholic and he smoked. You know? You know, it's just uh, some people's bodies can take stuff and some people's bodies can't take stuff. And so, you know, you know, I agree, you know, these channels and people, I don't have... Um, you know, all of us, you know, I think all these channels have their own benefits. You know, YouTubers, a lot of the YouTubers have their own benefits in their channel. But, you know, I'm at a certain age now in my life. I've got to take care of myself because my, my dad died young. His dad died young. You know, they all died, you know, heart trouble. So I want to try to beat that thing. You know, I want to try to live and beat it because... They, some people may have a heart family of men that are nine, uh, women that are 90 years old that smoke cigarettes. Drink beer all the time. But, you know, it's just according to your genetics and what your body can take. If your body can take it and your dad and mom died, lived to be 90, good for them, you know. Just according to you and your family history, everybody has to decide for themselves what they want to do, you know. Everybody has to make their own choices, make their own decisions as to what they want to do. It's worth it to you to do this or that, you know. You know, medicines, prescription medications can have a toll on your health too. It's not just, you know, you know, cigarettes and alcohol. It's, you know, prescription medicine. That's what they don't tell you sometimes. Prescription medicine can have side effects. And a side effect of prescription medicine is high cholesterol. The, the cholesterol in your blood, the cholesterol in your arteries... The cholesterol in your arteries, the cholesterol in your arteries, the it's the psychiatric medicine or any other kind of medicine that makes 
98, she stopped smoking and died weeks later. Oh, that's crazy, isn't it, skunk egg? Yeah, that is. But what I'm seeing is the, some of our medicine, prescription medicines, make us retain cholesterol and, and lower, raise our LDL cholesterol, bad cholesterol. Medicines, prescription medicines that we take can cause us to have heart trouble. And you have to work extra hard with these medicines to lower your cholesterol. To lower your blood, to lower your cholesterol, you have to work twice as hard on that medicine to lower your cholesterol. Because taking a lot of medicines makes you, taking a lot of medicines makes you gain weight. I've gained so much weight since I started my hormone, my, my um, anxiety medicine, my anxiety. My anxiety medicine caused me, my, like, I let a cig blew the smoke in the casket. She popped back up and lived two more years. That's cool, isn't it? Skunk egg. That's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, I enjoyed my cigarettes. When I smoked, I enjoyed them. Yeah. You know, I don't like his menthol cigarettes. That's what I smoke, is menthol. Yeah, I always love menthol cigarettes. Those are the best tasting things in the world. You know, what I'd love to have is a cigarette with a Bloody Mary. I like a cigarette with a Bloody Mary. That's the best thing to have is a Bloody Mary with your cigarettes. That's what I always do. You know, I love to drink Bloody Marys. That's what I love. You know? See, so if you drink a cigarette with a Bloody Mary, it tastes good. Yeah, so that's that. It's my rant on health, okay? So good to see everyone in the chat. Good to see everyone today. On the Redneck Rancho. Oh. Oh. Here it is. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I've got me some carrots. Make this into the health and wellness channel. Make this into the health and wellness YouTube channel. Oh man, 17 people watching. Woo! I think they like the health and wellness channel. I think people like that. It's a health and wellness channel on YouTube. But darn it. I hate everything to go down there and love it. No, no. Spoiling it. fresh carrots in this um, thingamajigger here. Thingamajigger soup is what this is. Thingamajigger soup. The soup of a thingamajigger. It's a thingamajigger. It's a bigger world. It's a thingamajigger. Make it bigger, thingamajigger stew. It's what you want to see. So won't you come with me? Make it now, cook it now, thingamajigger. What do you want it bigger? Thingamajigger stew. Thingamajigger stew. Thingamajigger, what's that bigger? Why do you call it thingamajigger stew? Thingamajigger, that's the that's simple way to do thingamajigger stew. Yes, thingamajigger stew. Thingamajigger, what's that bigger? Thingamajigger stew. Thingamajigger stew. Thing in the jigger, put that bigger, watch on the girl, watch in the jigger, watch in the baby, thing in the jigger, 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 it's that thing in the jigger, the bigger thing in the jigger, too. Hello, Rosie, thank you. Woo, thank you for the super chat, Rosie, thank you so much. 
Yay! Soup is coming. Good soup. Thank you, Rosie. Bless your heart. Yeah. I've got a good channel up here. Here we go. Yeah, I appreciate that. That um, Hello, Rosie O'Kelly. Nice to see a superstar in the chat today. We got our soup boiling here. And I just, and there was something, while I, I'll mention it on the fly while I'm doing this. I had a big question, and, and on all these chats here, uh, it's, I mention it momentarily. Mom, should I put a whole pound or a half a pound of hamburger in the soup? Hamburger. Should I save the hamburger or put a whole pound in it? Oh, not four. Oh, yeah, I've got three patties here. You need uh, two patties. You want me to go ahead and uh, cook one more? Okay. Thank you, my jiggers, too. Um, oh, the soup is going to be really thick here. Thing in my jigger stew. Thing in my jigger stew. What's that bigger? If you lick it, then I can stick it all the way in the flu. Thing in my jigger stew. Go ahead. It was on my meal. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. I put uh, some fresh carrots in here, guys. I'm sorry, guys. One pound. Oh, yeah, guys. Yeah. Had a half a pound. Here is carrots, cut and peel uh, Kroger brand baby carrots. I cut up a few of these and put these in here. And this is the healthy stuff, and I've outlined the difference, you know, in the frozen foods. You know. So, uh, Rosie, I just wanted to tell you, Rosie, I like your, I like your, um, uh, I like your, um, what do you call it, the stir fry you make with the eggs in there? How do you do, um, uh, I've never heard of that before, putting, making eggs with a stir fry, I'm going to have to try that. I've got some rice here, so I'm going to. Maybe work with some rice myself and make some different kinds of stir fry meals and stuff. That's what I want to be able to do. Try different kinds of stir fry meals that are healthy. And it seems like a healthy thing to eat. So I'm going to try to eat healthier because I'm getting to the age now I'm going to try to take care of myself. I'm going to take care of my heart, my health, and do the best I can for myself. It was hard to quit smoking cigarettes. It was not easy. Because I smoked my first cigarette in the trailer park when I was, yeah, I smoked. Lunch is over. Have a good afternoon, all. I'll see you little Rosie. We'll talk to you this evening on your little side chat. So, Leah, everyone else, yeah. So, we got that. Yeah, it was hard. I just, I'm getting to an age I have to take care of myself. Yeah. I'm, at, I'm at that age, you know. How old am I? I'm 47. Don't do that, dick. Don't be a, don't be that way. I have to delete your comment. Dick. No. I'm not deleting you today. Okay, good. Yeah, just be nice. Uh, okay, I've got some dark tomatoes in here. That's all we need is just one can of diced tomatoes. Peeled tomatoes. Diced peeled tomatoes. No, I get the regular. See? That's what I mean. Just one can is enough? Maybe two. Or do you just make this one? Two. They're pretty cute. <laughs> 
Thing in the jiggers too. Petite diced tomatoes. Kroger brand. Ooh, Kroger brand. I think canned foods are not so bad if you eat canned vegetables and not canned soup. The canned soup has more bad stuff in it. Okay, now. A half a cup. Okay, now. Saturated fat, zero. Trans fat, zero. Fat, zero. Sodium, 15 milligrams. Carbohydrates, 2%. So this, no salt added, petite diced, no salt added, canned uh, tomatoes. Now, if you like stuff, you can find no salt added. Good to see the 20 people in my, in my chat here. Look, no salt added, petite diced, peeled tomatoes. Mm, I'm glad to see this here. Petite diced, peeled tomatoes. No salt added. You see, and this is really healthy. So you can even make stuff out of canned food that's healthy. You know, just get some healthy soups and healthy stuff. You see, no, 50 milligrams of sodium, that no, no fat, that's manageable, you know. This is manageable health. Manageable, healthy food. So, it's not horrible. So, we, we can find processed foods. If you travel in an RV, too, you got to think about traveling in an RV. you got to have canned foods on hand, you know. Dried beans, you know, things like that. I guess we should save the hamburger, shouldn't we? Not wait, you right now use too much hamburger. I've got two hand patties in. Thingamajigger, what's that? What's that soul in it? Thingamajigger stew. Jigger stew. Thing in the jigger stew. Once again, this uh, is called Fiesta style vegetables from Kroger. Okay. Glad to see everyone up in the house. I'm going to open up my two cans of diced tomatoes. Two cans. So, we've got two cans of diced tomatoes up in the house today. Put it up in a soup. And I don't put the tomatoes in my soup until the very end. You know why? Because they'll shrivel up. And I don't want my tomatoes shriveling up. I like them to be nice and plump in my soup. Thing in my jigger stew. Thing in my jigger stew. Thing in my jigger stew. And I'm going to drain the hamburger. I'm going to drain all of the fat off the hamburger. Drain all the fat off the hamburger. Let the old hometown, your Kentucky girl, make me go back home. Baby, why not you? 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 Okay, now I've got a pizza, a freshetta pizza now. Okay. Okay, four servings per container. A fourth of a pizza. 17 grams or 22% total fat. Say 30 fat, 8 grams or 40%. Say 30 fat for a fourth of a pizza. If you eat a half of a pizza, it's going to be 80% say 30 fat. Cholesterol, 35 milligrams. 12%. Sodium is 910 milligrams or 39%. Put 910 milligrams of sodium for a fourth of a pizza. You eat 19, if you eat a half a pizza, it's going to be 1800 grams of sodium. 1800. 1800 grams of sodium. 
1,800 milligrams of sodium. 1,800 milligrams of sodium. For shredded pizza, it's really good, but it has 1,800 milligrams for a fourth, for a half a pizza. And you're not intended to eat a half a pizza, but the pizza is not that big, you know. And it's good, it tastes good, but 1,800 milligrams. I mean, it's nothing to sneeze at, you know. Nothing to sneeze at 1,800 milligrams of sodium. 1,800. But I'm not hating on people who eat it. I'm not hating on you. I'm not hating on people who eat uh, fattening food. I'm not hating on you. I'm not hating, I'm just saying. I'm not hating, I'm just saying. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Please don't say I'm hating. I'm not hating. Yeah, that's what it has in it. Dick is Darwin. Dick could be Darwin. I don't know for sure. I was talking about somebody. I'm not going to put garlic in it. Everyone loves a good time. Everyone loves to be on the fly. Now I'm going to drain the burger. Hamburger. Drain the hamburger. I'm going to get some get a paper towel. Wipe this out. Wipe all the grease out of here. Most all the hair grease out of there. And I'm going to let this stuff sit in there and drain. I'm going to make a nice lot of hamburger in there. Vegetable soup. Thingamajigger stew. Thingamajigger stew. What's that? Thingamajigger stew. Thingamajigger stew. Thingamajigger stew. Thingamajigger stew. Thingamajigger stew. Okay, now. Now I've got this hamburger and I'm gonna and I'm gonna mention something about truck campers too. Now and I'll mention that after I make the soup, so stay tuned for that information. It's information the RV community is gonna want to know about in uh, inserting the truck camper so. Stay tuned for that Chopping up the hamburger. Good turbo gene. There's the big boy though. Good turbo gene. He's good. The chihuahuas next door visited today. There's the chihuahuas next door and they visited us. So this is how I'm cooking my hamburger. Chopping it up really nice. Okay. So you believe me. This is the strainer. Sorry for the mess. I'm going to take this and I'm going to strain it. I'm going to take the hamburger. Strain the hamburger. Sorry about the mess. Okay. This is how I'm taking this. I wash my hands. They're clean. Chopping it up in little bitty pieces. And I strained it, drained it, and I'm going to take it, chop it up in little bitty pieces. And the reason why I want to chop it up in little bitty tiny pieces, I could wear rubber gloves, but it's just my mom and me eating here, you know. Just my mother and me, so and there's no sense in chop, putting rubber gloves on to cook with when it's just my mom and me. I wash my hands, my hands are clean. And so... So now, 
Of hamburger. I'm going to show you, maybe not quite a half a pound, and I'm going to show you guys how much grease is in it. How much grease is in a half a pound of hamburger? Whoa. You wouldn't even believe how much grease is in a half a pound of hamburger. Ooh. Crazy, I tell you. Chop the soup up in a little bit of pieces. I'm gonna have to get some low sodium um, VH juice to drink. That's good stuff for you. And you know, when somebody mentioned carrot juice, I think they have it, but I don't know how expensive it is. Yeah. When I get groceries for us, maybe I can do the click list. But they have carrot juice that's supposed to be good for you. Yeah. Wouldn't it be good to eat to drink it? Yeah. I guess I'm drinking, ca eating a lot of caffeine, drinking a lot of coffee. I guess I shouldn't drink as much coffee as I do. I drink a lot of coffee. Okay. Now I'll show you what I'm going to do. I want to show you all how much sodium. Okay. I mean, how much grease is in this hamburger. That reminds me of something. Yeah. Use some of those big fat noodles. What noodles? Oh, you want me to put the noodles in the soup? Yeah. Okay. If you want them in there. Uh, if you want them in there. Yeah, it'll make them good. Okay. Give us a lot of grease in the hamburger. I'm going to get another paper towel, wipe this skillet out, okay. Get as much of this as I can get it out of here. And put it in the, put the skillet in the sink. And I'll go ahead and rinse this hamburger off here. Now mom wants egg noodles in the vegetable soup, so. Egg noodles aren't the healthiest. We'll look at those and see what kind of health there is in egg noodles. Mm -hmm. Cut a hamburger, a little hamburger in the stew is not going to hurt nothing. It'll give it a little flavor. We've got some egg noodles up in here. I got some, um, okay, these are egg noodles. Okay. Oh, we got our 1980s vintage paprika. Have anybody seen one of these old fashioned chops here? And our 30 year old, 40 year old vintage 1980s paprika. Never goes bad, never. Not 40, 50, 100 years, whatever. Put a little in there. 
put the top back on. This was this was smoother than the trailer park. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what they say, Darwin, I wish one hand in the other, which one gets full first, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So we got our soup going. Okay. Mm -hmm. One papa loo bop a one fam boom gong girl named Daisy. She almost drives me crazy. Try to fur her named Daisy. Almost drives me crazy. Love me, yes indeed. What moves to me? Do the food. Oh, do the food. Okay. Okay, eight servings per container. Now, 220 calories. 2.5 grams of fat, 3% saturated fat is 0.5%, 3% saturated fat. 10 milligrams of sodium, 45 milligrams cholesterol. This stuff is not quite as bad as I thought it would be. Okay. These egg noodles are not too bad. I'm going to just cook this mini, but you don't, I mean, it's a little fattening, but it's not bad. You know, and it adds volume to the soup. And it'll make it, you know, fill you up more. Anything with pasta is like bread. It's going to fill you up, you know. It's going to put, it's going to make you feel full. And that's what we want is something that's going to make us feel full. We don't, you know, sometimes soup just don't make you feel full. You know, soup doesn't make you feel full. And I think a little pasta is going to help you feel a little full faster. You know, you know eating bread with it or whatever is another good option. Just so, yeah. I'm just going to be cooking the soup here and letting it um, simmer in here. Don't pull your love out on me, honey. Take it off my soul, honey. But don't leave me drowning. Haven't I been good to you? What about the other one? Don't pull you all out on me, honey. Take my heart, my soul, my money. Don't leave me drowned in the waters. Don't pull you all out on me, honey. Take my heart, my soul, my money. Take my heart, my soul, my money. I don't leave me drowned in my tears. Don't pull your love out on me, honey. I tell my heart, my soul, my mind. I don't leave me drowned in my tears. Don't pull your love out on me, honey. Take my heart, my soul, my mind. I don't leave me drowned in my tears. Don't pull your love out on me, honey. Take my heart, my soul, my mind. I don't leave me drowned in my tears. Don't pull your love out on me, honey. Take my heart, my soul, my mind. Yeah. Good to see you guys. Okay, now. It's all cooking right now. My soup is. And I'm going to put these tomatoes in here last. Because I don't want them to shrivel up. Okay, we got our egg noodles in here cooking. Oops. Got our egg noodles cooking in there. Little egg noodles in the soup. It's going to be good. And we got our trusty um, colander there. You have nice, wonderful people here in the side chat. Thank you so much. Thank you for the super chat. Do-da. Do-da. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you for the soup. Doodah, doodah. Whew. You're Molly Jane. Isn't she wonderful? Look at Molly Jane. That girl is the prettiest on earth. Oh, thank you, Leah Sugar Britches. Good to see you. Molly's the most beautiful animal on earth. <clears throat> as old as you want. Pretty baby. The pretty princess. The most beautiful canine on earth. <clears throat> beautiful queen I'm going to tell you this new tape player the one on the bottom is a three motor uh, dual capstan deck and it's messing up on me because the, the speed is messing up on it and I've got another one in there just like it the speed's messed up on both of them they're both dragging so 
can't really record with it anymore right now until I take it apart and see if I can fix the dragging in there. It's a, drag, a tendency to drag a little. You can adjust the speed of the motor, so you can do that. I need to actually adjust the speed. <clears throat> Molly Jane, are you beautiful and good? Perfect and good. I spoil my animals. My Molly is spoiled. Dick. Okay. On another note. Dick. Cockerson. <laughs> All these people are funny. All these people on YouTube are funny. Okay, let's talk about truck campers now. I called the DMV. I wanted to know. States are talking different things. Okay, this is about truck campers. You could, of course, you have a, a travel trailer. You know, you know, truck camper titling and registration requirements. <clears throat> There's one state that requires a truck camper to have a title, and that is Idaho. Now, in Idaho, it's truck campers after the year 2009. So, if your truck camper is over, is, is a 2009 or newer, you have to title it in the state, have it titled. And I know that in other states they have a registration sticker that goes, um, registration stickers that go on truck campers. <clears throat> but in the state of Kentucky, they do not title truck campers. Now, there's some information on floating around, and there's a website called Truck Camper Adventure. Truck Camper Adventure. And truck, hello, Tasha. Yeah, screw that. That's true, Tasha. I'm glad you're here in the chat today. Where are you in New in New, in New, um, New Mexico? I saw your video in New Mexico. So, um, but there's a lot of information saying that tr Kentucky requires Kentucky requires truck campers to be titled. You know. Okay. Okay. Now, what I was going to say is. There is information about a member, and so I called Frankfurt, and you know, <clears throat> uh, information online that's saying Kentucky requires truck campers to have a title, just like a vehicle title, you know, a motor vehicle title, you know, a truck camper is a recreational vehicle, and because a truck camper is a recreational vehicle, it has to be titled with a recreational vehicle title, <clears throat> and it has to have registration, like car registration. And there was, there's one called Truck Camper Adventure. And so, so I wanted to the truth. If I was going to be so They're not going to do that today. They're not going to tear up my live stream. So, and I called Frankfurt. <clears throat> you don't have to have registration on a truck camper in Kentucky. You don't have to have a title. You don't even title it anyway. It cannot be titled. They won't even title it. And the reason they don't title truck campers is because it doesn't exist on the road. It's considered cargo. It's a unit, slide-in unit. They make re slide-in wreckers. They go on truck to pull, like a wrecker, make a, a pickup truck into a wrecker to pull, you know, to tow a towing wrecker. You know, you know, they, they, um... That you can get a slide in wrecker, you can get a slide in ambulance unit, a slide in unit to turn a pickup truck into an ambulance by put sliding the ambulance. It's like a little truck camper, but it's an ambulance, a slide in ambulance unit. All different and a slide in refrigeration box truck, a slide in box truck for refrigeration. So many things you can buy attachments for pickup trucks. And so, in the state of Kentucky and South Dakota, if you want to choose your nomad state as South Dakota, you can choose South Dakota for your nomad state. For your domicile in Tennessee and South Dakota to do it. And Florida, Florida does not require titles or registration on a truck camper either. They consider truck campers to be cargo. Just like Kentucky, most states require view truck campers as cargo. They don't title them as motor vehicles. They don't title truck campers. There's a few states that are that, that want to get tax money of out of anything somebody owns. So that's the answer.
to that about truck campers in Kentucky. That is the final answer. No title, no registration. The registration on your pickup truck covers the truck camper. That is your final, final That is your final answer about truck campers. Final answer. I called Frankfurt. So, we're starting to get a little bit soft. The uh, carrots are starting to get a little soft here. Good to see everyone. It just needs to cook a little more. We've got our egg noodles in here. And they're starting to get a little... Um, double mint plus. Double the pleasure. Double the fun. With double mint gum. Twice as much. Double your pleasure, double your fun with double mint gum. Double your pleasure, double your fun with double mint gum. Double your pleasure, double your fun with double mint gum. These are clean, okay? Double your pleasure, double your fun with double the gum twice as nice twice as nice Double your pleasure, double your fun with double the gum And I didn't add any salt to this soup at all we stopped buying salt, okay? So we don't need salt in our food here, in the Redneck Rancho. Don't need it. We eat healthy here. Good people eating healthy, living right. Yes. I love you, girl. Bum, 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 bum. Join me this Halloween for the scariest event of the season. Yes. Mm, I heard eight telephone. Hello? It's the solicitors. The solicitors or bad news. So the solicitors are here. Welcome to this to the live chat. Okay, and uh, remember your uh, like, share, subscribe, join the channel if you want to join the revolution. You remember the super chat's open. I'm going to be trying to find a PayPal. So we want everybody to be comfortable and happy. This is a place for everyone. Everyone's welcome here. Good place to be. Right now, I'm the Redneck Rancher. Okay, we've got two cans of soup here. Okay, this is our soup. No salt added to it. We're trying to take care of our health and be good and do the right thing. This is a vegetable soup. I call it, I don't know what you call it, fiesta style vegetable soup. Because it has fiesta style vegetables inside of it. Okay, we'll let this heat in a few minutes there. Let it cook there and simmer. Oh, I've read some stuff about wood burning stoves. Yeah, wood stove burning stoves have a lot of pollution and it's not good for your lungs. Mm -hmm. I guess the wood burning soap is not a good thing. It pollutes not good for the environment. Double your pleasure, double your fun with double mint gum twice as nice. Hmm. 
With double and gum, double and gum, with double and gum, double and gum, with double and gum. Okay, buffering again. Sorry about that. I'm gonna. I've got too much. I've got too much stuff on my phone. My phone has a lot of stuff on it, and I have to get some stuff off my phone. Okay. I'm going to have to get some stuff off my phone. I'm tired of these people aggravating us. Hello? What it? No, you... No, not... No, you didn't. No, I, I'm busy live streaming on YouTube. No. I, I'll call... Call me... She's here. You want to talk to her? Okay, here she is. Peggy. Do you mind talking to her? People try to call this Hello. phone, it interrupts my live stream. So, my phone, I'm going to have to get, get rid of some stuff on this phone. Well, I mean, get rid of all the pictures on this cell phone. So, remember, you don't have to have a title or registration in Kentucky. You don't need a title or registration in Kentucky or a lot of uh, counties. So, and okay with it. So, I'm going to let you guys go and I'm going to clean this phone out. This is how you make vegetable soup. Um, and I like to have mushrooms in it, but remember fiesta style vegetables and fiesta style vegetables and some egg noodles. Remember what's healthy and you know the carrot juice and the stuff. You know the uh, 9500 9000 series is helping his health. You know that's what I want to do is take care of my health. So I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Thank you again, Rosie O'Kelly, for the super chat catch you on the flip side like share subscribe join the revolution and i'll catch you all where the sun don't shine yeah